oh, actually going on six years now. I fought for four years in, in the courts. Uh, it took me three years to figure it out that it was a legislative issue, that the laws were wrong, that were allowing these judges in front of the court to uh, destroy children's childhood by minimizing a parent in their lives through the custody. Uh, why, why can't I have more time? I stood up in court. I said, this isn't enough time. I said, this, what, I want more time with my kids. The judge told me to sit down and be quiet. So what should we get? Didn't want to hear nothing from me. <clears throat> I was asked to, to talk about the, the legislation. Where I, that's where I was leading to. Um, currently, we have a bill, House Bill 4564. There was a handout that, over at the table that was given, uh, was put out there for everybody to look at. Um, this is the, the it's been in, introduced on April 5th, 2007. I have 20, I think 22 co-sponsors, so there was a little bit of support behind it. Obviously, we need more than that. Uh, it's been moved for, out of the Family and Children's Services Committee to the Judiciary Committee on October 10th, and uh, that's where it sits. It hasn't been heard, hasn't been scheduled for a hearing. Um, State Representative Paul Candino is the chair, if anybody cares to let him know if you'd like to see that heard. Uh, majority uh, vice chair is Andy Colores. I don't know how to spell, say that, but he, he, he might need to know about that too. And then the minority chair is your uh, uh, Tanya Shootmaker here in Van Buren County. So. I don't know if anybody has, has her ear, but she might have a little bit of pull on that committee too. Um, as it is right now, we haven't tried real hard to coerce or, let's put it this way, uh, make a big deal about them not scheduling for a hearing yet because it's just a budget deal and they've been pretty busy with that. So we understand that they're been working pretty hard on that.